Hey Paranormies, it's Jenna and Alice and welcome to the light side of the paranormal. Today we are finally getting a chance to react to one of our new subscribers. This is going to be a reaction to Goose Pimples. Now they've commented on a couple of our videos and suggested that we react to some of their compilations which we were very excited to do but we wanted to make sure that we were together to do it and not doing it alone um, so we can finally react together to Goose Pimples and we are very very excited. Side note, I'm pretty sure Goose Pimples is like the UK version of Goosebumps. Yes, 100%. Okay. Like yeah. Goose Pimples. Yeah. Yeah. You can see our ring light here because our first choice in lights died. And so now this is second choice and you can see the reflection. We're just gonna, we're not gonna pretend it's not there. We'll call it out. See you. Just pretend that it's like the you, sun. You pretend that this is not here. <laughs> or that it's not here. <laughs> and if spooking paranormal content is your jam, become a part of our paranormal jam by clicking that subscribe button. And if you're new here, you can follow us on Instagram and you can follow Alice and myself on our personal pages as well. And everything will be linked in the description below. Are you ready? Let's go. So we decided to choose the video, top five real poltergeist videos, scarier than 2020. We like that title, so we're going with that one. Oh my gosh. What? That's an old one, I've seen that one before. Five real poltergeist videos that can't be fake. Love right. the voice. Great voice. Almost every poltergeist haunting starts with telltale signs. A drop in room temperature, things being knocked down, unexplainable creaking of stairs, doors opening on their own, and those spooky soft whispers we never want to hear. <laughs> These are all signs you're in for a paranormal punch in the face. <laughs> but you like it, don't you? Yes. It's a bloody yes. good job because Please. the five poltergeist videos we bring you today will cause havoc in the comments section. Nice. Never mind the title. We want you to tell us if these are real or fake. Oh, this is a great compilation. We will try. Yes. Your weekly Goose Pimples Fix. Number five attacked by a poltergeist. This video was captured back in 2015 and uploaded by the YouTube channel The Slamming Door. Interesting name for a paranormal channel, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But the name sounds about right because the video you are about to watch kind of validates one of our telltale signs of a poltergeist activity. Can you guess which one? Let's watch. It seems like this supposed poltergeist likes to build up tension before going all out and causing a right mess, as you are about to watch. Dying of anticipation. It's gotta slam it, right? Oh. oh. The slamming door uploaded some more scary videos of extreme poltergeist activity happening in the same house. So the door Here's opens one by itself. Where you get to see a clear view of the room. Then yeah. Well, that's one heck of a tidy room, isn't it? Do you reckon it will stay that way for long? Let's focus on the paranormal stuff here and watch what goes on inside this creepy lounge. Get ready for what happens next. Lionel Richard? 
you're heavy breathing. Can you believe it? How can random stuff get thrown over and around this guy? Oh, yeah. While we can't think of any explanation for this supposed poltergeist activity, you might have a theory for all of this. Let us know in the comments. These videos got our attention, so we want to check out more videos uploaded by the slamming door. Do you want more? Here's another one. This time, the homeowner comes all prepared to capture the source of those cheap thrills he witnessed daily. Now, we can view the room from three different angles. Isn't that great? Mm -hmm. So, did he really capture something weird? Let's find out. Wow. What a mess to clean up all the time. Yeah. Seriously. Damn, that is pretty terrifying. This room seems to be the hub of strange activities. Yeah. Mm. Here's the final scary video uploaded in 2016. As soon as the person enters the room, everything goes haywire as if someone was waiting for him to show their antics. Check it out. It's almost like they're coming in with cameras because they know maybe they haven't been there since a certain amount of activity happened or something and they're just ready with the cameras. Oh. It's that yellow room. Oh. Either Stuff happening something all around them. is terribly wrong with the house itself, or the place frequently receives earthquake jolts, because there's no other explanation that yeah. we can think of. Here are some more strange events captured in broad daylight. We've had a lot of stuff going on. Is She's falling for a second. Oh, she's like, I'm out of here. Many of the slamming door viewers claim that these videos are real poltergeist activity. But what do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Also, if any of you can translate what the people are saying in the last video, it would be a great help as we cannot understand the word. Wow. To watch more scary videos of this house, do follow this channel and subscribe to show your support. Jeez, that was like a freaking fun house. I know, that was a, that <laughs> was a <laughs> lot. <laughs> like everything's moving, everything's happening at once. Yeah. And it must be just, like you were saying, like a common occurrence for them if they're just starting to film the second yeah. that they get home. I get the vibe that like that last one might have been the last ditch like they left and then they were like, let's go back and just see. And all this stuff started happening and they just left. F the shit on Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so real or fake? I mean, you could fake all of the stuff that happened. Mm -hmm. It would be quite elaborate. I seem to think it's genuine. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like it's real. I'm just getting that sense. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you're right. Like strings and fishing line and it's possible, mm -hmm. but I don't get that vibe. Yeah, me neither. Let's see what the next one is. Number four. Ghosts just want to have fun. <laughs> Some people believe that ghosts and spirits are only after one thing. To scare the hell out of you. <laughs> Little did we know that poltergeists can have a fun side too. 
The only problem is that even this isn't too amusing for us. Here's another creepy video with a supposedly real poltergeist caught on tape to freak to you out a bit. Did you spot any wires or engine? No, like... How the hell is this moving on its own? Yeah. yeah. It would certainly require some strength to move it. Watch it again, like, and I'm pretty this sure time, you have to really forcefully pull down on those those bars for it to it be because you're about sitting in the chair. Some of you might believe this footage to be real poltergeist not. activity caught on camera. But why in such a weird place? <laughs> Do you believe it is raw paranormal footage or excellent editing skills? Real or fake? We can't wait to know what you think about this one. Looks so awkward. <laughs> they're they're hard to pull up because Normally you're sitting in it, so you're pulling up your body weight. Right. But if there's nobody in there, you could do it quite easily, I think. But but how would you do it? N no, like I don't think you can. I don't think you'd be able to do it without having your hand on it and doing it. That's it. Like yeah. how could you fake that? That's so interesting. Um, That's maybe so it's weird. like a a child spirit that was just they loved going there to the park and they're just enjoying themselves. Or it's something attached to somebody who's at the park, like yeah. I don't know. Number three, Stranger Things caught on tape. Hmm. So, we are back to square one. Here's yet another haunted house with poltergeist activity we simply couldn't ignore. Uploaded by the YouTube channel Dark Core, this footage is definitely one of the scariest poltergeist hauntings we have seen lately. From things levitating to objects being thrown carelessly, flickering light bulbs and weird sounds this video has got all those ingredients that make a video truly terrifying let's watch yes i've seen this a long time ago it's crazy like that bowl is up <laughs> Do you also believe this video is authentic? Please share your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to Dark Core. This channel somehow manages to get exclusive poltergeist footage all the time. That like levitating bowl. What? <laughs> yeah, the way it like hovers. I don't know, that gets me every time that. And for some reason, like you could easily fake like the, the, the picture, picture on the wall, mm -hmm. but that it gives me Goose pimples. Like, it, it freaks me out. Like, the painting thing, like, even in movies and stuff, and painting through that. <laughs> yeah, it definitely reminded me of, like, The Conjuring or something like that. Yes. Like, but it was the bowl that really sold it. Yeah. How on earth, what amount of fishing line, and where would you hook it up to on yeah, a smooth know. bowl where there's nothing? You know, I like, know, yeah. Like, even if it was taped, like, the force when it, like, flies up, I feel like it wouldn't. I don't know. Yeah. Crazy. Oh my gosh. Real. Number two sickening to the core. The next video shows some poltergeist activity from a creepy hospital. We believe there are patients on two of the beds while the rest are empty. Isn't it frightening to think that patients who are in their most vulnerable condition weren't alone in that room? There's an undeniable presence that we can feel just by watching this footage. What could have happened to these unsuspecting individuals even the force is enough to give anyone nightmares. It's like turning. Oh. Oh my god, it looks like it's talking. <laughs> like a puppet. Oh my gosh. Did you see how the poltergeist is trying to frighten the patients? who seems to be sleeping soundly. Yeah, there's a well, there's After so trying hard to wake up one of them by moving the trash can, which we have no idea why it was placed in the middle of the room, by the way. Yeah, probably. The entity on. tries to disturb the other patient by moving the IV drip stand. Oh. Oh my gosh. That's really dangerous. Oh, look at it. Yeah. But that's not all because then it eyes the life-saving oxygen cylinder. Is it trying to hurt these people? We would love to know if you think this could be staged 
or is the hospital really haunted? I mean, obviously Please everything know could be staged. Mm -hmm. It could everything be staged. Could be. It's opinion based. At that yeah, one hundred percent. I believe in haunted hospitals. One hundred percent. There's stuff that goes on in hospitals all the time. Yes, people are dying every single day in hospitals. Can you imagine being all doped up on sedatives or something, and then you look over and the trash can is moving like, like that, and you're like, "Hello, is this <laughs> like, <laughs> we've come to take you, <laughs> nurse. I need less." Yeah, yeah. You know, like it, it would be hard to even know what's real and what's not. Yeah, that's a scary thought. I you mean, know? I don't know how bad this patient had it, but it doesn't seem to be responding to that activity because that could be terrifying. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, this person is just like sound asleep having a good sleep, lovely dreams, and has no idea this is happening. But the person filming is very aware of what's going on and they're probably terrified. Yeah, I'm just like, yeah. Well, um. Clicking the button. Yeah. <laughs> Someone come, please. Yeah, yeah. And then when, when they're messing with the IV stand and the oxygen tank. That's scary. That feels like there was some bad intentions there. Mm -hmm. And that is the scariest part for me in this video. Even though there wasn't like things flying across the room yeah. and things. The intentions didn't feel pure. Mm -hmm. That was real in my opinion. Number one, a haunting in Canada. Ooh, nice. Uploaded by Mr. Devilish, a YouTube channel we've never seen being mentioned in other compilation videos. This footage shows most of the poltergeist activity telltale signs we mentioned earlier. One thought that kept plaguing our minds when we found this one was how it is possible there are so many haunted house videos being uploaded daily on YouTube. It feels as if humans have been outnumbered by ghosts as they no longer reside in abandoned, dismantled buildings but are widely prevalent in high-end, contemporary apartments and houses like this one. This two-part footage was captured in Canada. So, what are we waiting for? Sorry, I wanted to just like chime in and be like, I feel like a lot of newer buildings and stuff are being haunted, like like he said, because um, of the grounds. No, well, I mean that too. But recycling is such a big thing now, more common than it used to be. So recycling old, you know, bricks, wood, stuff that you would build with, mm -hmm. recycling, you know, great for the environment and everything. But you're using something from another location, another house, it has another energy imprint on it, now you're using it in this brand new house, so people think of it, you know, if they've got this brand new home, why would it be haunted? Well, there, there could be a lot of recycled things in well, these places. Even, like we said before, thrift shopping. Yeah. A lot of your contemporary apartments are filled with second-hand items. Yeah, like Not even just the building supplies. Like, yeah. yeah. So, and just people in general. People can be haunted, it doesn't just have to be the building. Yeah. Um, yeah, really interesting point there. Thank you for pointing that out. Let's check out what sort of poltergeist activity Mr. Devilish caught on tape. Okay, that's kind of fucking weird. This thing is fucking moving. There's no fan on or anything. This fucking thing's moving. Holy fuck. <laughs> Holy f This is like an old church. It's pretty crazy. Wait, oh. This is an old church? Oh, whoa. That's f up. Is there someone Something standing behind here. the curtain? Oh god, I hope not. Like that could have Oh I see. It's kind of funny the way this alleged poltergeist first attempts to move the chandelier and then draws the curtain. We wonder why this entity refrained from doing a bit more of the drama we are accustomed to in haunted houses. Why are there no drawers being flung open or doors slammed? Why are there no knives or cups flying away like balloons? Oh wait, this is just the first part. We haven't yet watched the second part, so this means the poltergeist still has a chance to reclaim its honour, hmm. right? Here's the second part, according to Mr. Devilish. The next footage was captured 15 minutes later. Let's check it out. So, like 15 minutes now, nothing's gone on. Oh, this is the Chandelier. one from the intro, the kettle. Everything's good. We, ha we have this uh, stove on because it's freaking cold in here. 
there's no heat, so we just put the heater on. And thing, I'm gonna say I'm already getting and, staged uh, vibes. Yeah. There's me. I mean, I could be wrong, but that's just the vibes I'm getting. Nobody else is with us. Do you disagree? I don't know yet. Nobody. And uh, Carson and I were just talking, and we're like, how are we gonna sleep here? And he's getting all, uh, he was getting a little bit worried, like, uh, and I was like, no, I don't care, like, really. Oh well, it seems like the poltergeist responded to our sarcasm by finally taking it a little too far. The highlight of the entire footage was this guy's reaction when out of the blue, the kettle starts to move towards him. Why is the oven open? Just this would give anyone a heart right, attack, sorry. but not this guy, as all he does is put his hands up just in case anyone blames him. After all, kettles are expensive these days. <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled on the guy sitting by the countertop because you don't want to miss this brilliant reaction. And I was like, no, I don't care, like, really. What? 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 Yeah, I don't think he did it. No. I don't think the guy filming did it. Why would the poltergeist want to move things here and there? I think there could be Do they want us to feel their the presence? Curtain. Or are they trying to warn you us about something? See an arm going for the other Do you believe this could be the work of a ghost? Or is there something fishy going on here? Let us know in the comments section below. And check out Mr. Devilish's YouTube channel to know more about the paranormal incidents they've captured. The thing that got me at the very beginning was the way that the chandelier, um, it's almost like it's being tugged mm. at the corner quickly. I noted that at the very beginning, and then I mean curtains, I feel like that you could rig that up pretty easy to pull. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily having to be behind it, but like just string and string, maybe. I agree with you. Yeah. Um, once the video was complete, I thought, hmm. Yeah, and even the way that the person is like talking about the events and saying mm -hmm. like, should we sleep here tonight and things like and that. And making sure that he's filming the guy with the kettle right there in the corner. Uh, it was just a little, and the reason that I had mentioned why is the oven open? Because like I'm looking for abnormalities in the room where something could be possibly mm -hmm. attached to it. Like had the oven, you know, door closed and then the kettle moved, like right. something like that. Yes. But that didn't happen necessarily. But of all the videos in that compilation, that would be the one that I would think the most to be fake. Yes. So thank you so much, Goose Pimples, for suggesting that we react to your stuff. We loved it. We'll definitely do another reaction to your videos. You've got so many, and we've got a lot of catching up to do. I love your commentary. I love the way that you deliver the information. I love your accent. Make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed watching it so that we know you liked it and YouTube knows that you liked it. And obviously go over to Goose Pimples channel and give them a subscribe to check out some of their videos, give them some likes. They've got tons of stuff to check out. So if you like watching us react to this, you'll like all the other videos that they have. Let us know what you thought in the comment section. And that's it for us tonight, guys. So live your life with love and light and keep on creeping on. See you next time. Bye. Bye.